Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of Register for Dinner. I'm your host, Sebastian Register. Today, it's not your mom's everyday meatloaf. That's right, we're wrapping this in bacon. Stay tuned. You gotta stay refreshed. This is gonna be a good day. So to get started, you're gonna need to saute your vegetables, but first we gotta prep them. Grab a red bell pepper, and you're gonna wanna small dice it. Don't need that. Next, take a small or medium sized yellow onion and small dice that as well. Did I make that? Oh! Yes. This is the part I hate, cutting onions. All right, sorry, I feel it. God! Small dice. So just to refresh your memory, you're gonna wanna take your uh, onion, put three fingers on top, cut across, very gently, across the onion. Twelve seconds later. Pans on medium high heat. Onions, peppers, cut. Next, it's time for some garlic. Got three cloves, skinned, peeled, ready to be chopped. Grab your garlic and start mincing. All right, now that you got it all roughly chopped, take your blade, start running it through. And that's gonna be how you get your minced garlic. All right, good enough. If you've seen my show before, you know I'm a fan of the spicy food, so I got a jalapeno to put in my meatloaf. Again, this is optional, you don't have to do it. If you're a wussy, you won't do it. So I'm gonna just take my jalapeno, and I wanna small dice it. Again, like I said before, if you core it out in the center, the seeds and the veins are where all the heat is produced. So if you just like the flavor of jalapeno, so you can just use it without the seeds. It's gonna have a little bit of heat, but not be overbearing. So just take your jalapeno, slice it down the middle, slice it one more time, and then slice it one more time. These are gonna give you perfect little slits. Like I just mentioned, I like spicy, so I'm gonna keep everything clumped together, seeds, veins, all you name it. I may even add some more hot sauce to my meatloaf. And then, like I said, you wanna small dice your jalapeno. Boom, I need another drink. Pan's been heating up for a little bit, it's hot, it's ready to go. Now you gotta oil that sucker. Yeah, that may be a little too hot. Don't want to burn the house down. Like I said, I'm not a chef, just a guy I like seeing. About a tablespoon of oil, get those vegetables in there. Just gonna plop all these kids into the pool. Give it a good couple shakes. And let them sweat, about five minutes or so. In the meantime, you can drink your bourbon. Cheers, boys. It's Christmas in a pan, enjoy it. Onions and peppers and bears, oh my. Oh my! Vegetables are all ready and sweated out. As you can see, the onions are translucent, so I'm just gonna turn off my heat and move these bad boys to the side and let it cool down. Still don't take your eye off of them, because the pan's still hot, so you don't want to burn your vegetables. Your peppers and onions are cooling down, now it's time to prep for your meatloaf. Grab two eggs and give those boys a nice crack. Don't even have to look anymore. All right, now you wanna grab some cayenne pepper. Again, optional, I like it spicy. Teaspoon cayenne pepper right into the pool. About a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika. Equal parts onion powder, garlic powder. I have about a half a teaspoon of each. Get those out of there. They don't wanna work with me today. And a generous portion of salt. And some cracked black pepper. Next, a couple dashes of some smoked Chipotle Tabasco. This stuff is delicious. And a couple more dashes of Worcestershire. If I had to guess, I would say probably about a half a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Perfect. Half a cup of breadcrumbs. Any breadcrumbs will do. If you like the Italian seasoning, go for that. I just got plain here. Especially because it has a picture of meatloaf on the front. How convenient. Excellent. And now we just gotta wait for those veggies. Come on, do it for the vine. After what seems like an eternity, your vegetables are finally cooled down. I'm gonna pour these bad boys into my meatloaf mix. Oh yeah. They're still steaming, but you don't have to worry because you're about to plop this right into the oven. If you were having this sit overnight, then I would definitely let these cool down completely. You don't want any cross-contamination or any bacteria growing or anything that'll kill you. Now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably gonna be really hot to mix with my hands. Are you ready to get third degree burns? I know I am. I can't wait any longer. It's time to mix this meatloaf. Grab your one hand and just start really 
pushing it in there. Obviously making less of a mess than I am right now. You know what? This calls for two hands. Your meatloaf is all mixed. Now it's time to line your loaf pan, if that's what you want to call it, with some bacon. I got lots of bacon, hickory smoked, thick cut, the best of the best. It's time to line it. Are you ready? I am. Grab bacon, make a couple, couple nice little strips down along the pan. You want to make sure your bacon on the first layer is spaced out about half an inch. That's probably not even half an inch, but I don't care. That's how I'm doing it. Yeah, that's definitely not half an inch. Whatever. If you're good at measurements, you figure it out. Line the whole bottom of your loaf dish, whatever it's called. I don't care. I never went to culinary school with bacon. Then you want to go over those spaces with another strip of bacon. Look at that. And now you have this little this little blanket of some bacon. Bacon makes everything better, I tell you what. How'd you not like meatloaf when you were growing up as a kid? I used to put that on everything. Sandwiches, pizza, ice cream. Make sure you line the ice outside with some bacon as well. Just like that. Do about two layers of it. Perfect. If that's not the sexiest thing you've seen all year, I don't know what is. I love bacon. Bacon! So I've got my bacon weave all ready. Now I'm gonna take my cool down meat to the loaf and I'm gonna put it in my pan. Let's take this big pot of, oh God. No! Just kidding, that'd kill me. Right into your loafing dish. Loafing dish, loafing pan, I still don't know the terminology. If you guys wanna correct me, comment below on what this thing is actually called. Really make sure that you leave no air pockets in there. You want your meatloaf to be nice and tight. There's nothing worse than a loose meatloaf. Yes, it's tight. Now, take your bacon weaves and just flip them over. Look at that, look how simple it is. You're gonna be like, Sebastian, you're a genius. No, I just know how to cook. That's why I'm teaching you my tricks and methods. Stay tuned. As you can see, there's still a little bit of the loaf of meat still showing, so you gotta cover that up with more bacon. Take that, run it across, tuck them in, there we go. You can never have too much bacon. Like, let's just, let's just get this over with now, ladies and gentlemen. You can never have too much bacon. Again, make sure these guys are overlapping. You just want it until you see none of that beef showing. See this? This is what I call the meat drums. I've got a sheet tray that is lined with some tin foil and a little bit of olive oil so that my meatloaf doesn't stick. And now it's time to take this meatloaf and unmold it. So you just take your meatloaf and with a quick flick of the wrist, look at the flick of the wrist. Just give it a quick flip and then quick little wiggle and it comes out looking beautiful. beautiful. I've got my oven preheated to 350. It's time to plop my meatloaf in the oven. It's got about 50 minutes to cook. Keep a close eye on it so you don't burn your bacon. What good is bacon wrapped meatloaf without some sauce? It's time to make our glaze. Take a third of a cup of some Heinz ketchup, give it a little shake, and about a third of a cup. That looks perfect. That's probably more than a third of a cup. Two tablespoons of brown sugar, and about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Take a whisk, whisk it all together. Perfect. It's been 50 minutes, your meatloaf is ready. It's time to take it out of the oven and glaze that bad boy. Oh yeah, cheese Louise. Your meatloaf is fully cooked, but it's not done yet. So I got my sauce that we made earlier. I'm just gonna take a nice basting brush and slowly and ever so gently put it on my meatloaf. Crank your oven to 400 degrees and cook for another 15 minutes. It's gonna be delicious. The moment you've all been waiting for, the meatloaf is ready. Time to take that bad boy out of the oven. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at it. I really wish you guys could be here to smell that right now. Before you cut into this bad boy, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes so all the juices recollect back into the meat. It's been five minutes, about 10. Your meatloaf is rested, juices are collected, time to start slicing this. But first, you gotta reglaze it. So I still have a little bit left of, left of this awesome sauce, and I'm just gonna pour some ever so gently on your bacon wrapped meatloaf. I feel like Bob Ross painting over here. Give it its first slice. Man, look at that. 
This is the ultimate me love that will blow your mom away. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Once again, my name is Sebastian Register. This is Register for Dinner. Be sure to smash that like button, comment below, and subscribe. Until next time, stay hungry, my friends.